Welcome back, folks. MTG Joe here. Uh, going into hour six of streaming. Um, uh, this is the streamer early access event. So we got a God account, Ikoria Standard. I've uh, been playing against a bunch of uh, MTG pros and content creators today. It's been an awesome day. Uh, this set is really, really fun. A lot of cool, unique decks being brewed by everyone. Um, so there's a bunch of videos already on YouTube if you missed any of the parts from this morning. Uh, we'll be playing a couple more decks today, and then over the weekend, I'll focus on budget content. Uh, so for those of you who do tune in for budget, don't worry, it's coming. Just need a couple more days. Um, trying to use all the, the free wild cards right now. So this here is a black-white uh, Doom Foretold list. Uh, as many of you know, this is my pet card. I have the Esper deck full art in paper. Um, so I'm trying to find a different take. This is a afterlife build. So we're playing creatures that we sack for value that leave tokens when they come behind. And then what we're trying to do is with Luros, uh, we're playing it main board, not as companion. So we're not restricted by its companion ability. Uh, during each of your turns, you can cast one creature with CMC two or less. So you can keep, sack your afterlife creature on upkeep, get it back, cast it again, and then just keep recycling it that way. So this version here is more of an aristocrat style deck. Um, so we have, in terms of afterlife, uh, Hunted Witness is pseudo afterlife, just without the name afterlife. Uh, then Orzov Enforcer and Imperious Oligarch. And then we have Yark Fenlurker, which you can get back and attack your opponent's hand. Uh, Midnight Reaper draws us cards when things die. Woe Strider can sack our board as almost a combo finish. In unison with Bastion of Remembrance. So it's a three mana, enters the battlefield, you get a 1-1 human. And then whenever a creature you control dies, uh, we drain the opponent. So I'm trying this over Cruel Celebrant. Cruel Celebrant, you do get to cast off Luros, but the enchantments are harder to remove. So I want to test that out. Then we also have a, call, a couple Call of the Death Dwellers. Uh, return up to two target creatures with combined CMC of three or less. Um, so if you have a big board, you can sack it, drain them out that way, bring stuff back. Uh, and then you have Mothra as well. So... Whenever a creature you control without flying dies, uh, not Mothra, Luminous Broodmother, we got the Godzilla art. Uh, whenever a creature without f flying dies, you return it to your battlefield uh, with a flying counter on it. So you can sack your board and then get it back and then sack it again to try to combo out your opponent. And then one Soren on the top end just to reanimate some key threats, but also give you lifelink. Uh, mana base, we just have a couple of the, the uh, castles for each and then go from there. So keep in mind, this is a best of one format. Uh, once we go live with like the actual set, we will play best of three as always. But for now, let's fire it up, have some fun. Uh, for those of you who were with me earlier today, uh, we're on the VIP client, so at times it gets a little leggy. Uh, it's not the, the normal client, so I will have to reset a couple times between games. Um, so I'm going to be doing about 30 minutes or so, 30 to 40 minutes with each deck to let me get through the biggest uh, variety. Uh, so we can't play this hand if we don't have lions. Um, and then uh, we can go from there. try this but we'll see so they're playing kahira so their deck can only contain cat elementals dinosaurs or beasts and then it's an anthem for it and it gives them vigilance so a boreal grazer is a beast i'm actually just gonna play castle here it lets me curve out better because i can go two drop and then two drop through one drop so this could be teamer elemental kind of ramp style deck Opponent is getting quite ahead in terms of mana. We'll play out the Orzov Enforcer. Okay, so it's fine. We still get something in return. They put a counter on the Risen Reef. So we'll just take the damage here. So this looks like an elemental style of strategy. Uh, if we have Doom Foretold down, it'll be good. So I'm just going to go like this this turn. And then set up Doom Foretold for the next turn. Um, just hold back. It gets blocked by a Boreal Grazer anyways. Do 
do think we probably double block Risen Reef. Oh, and a Nisa. Nisa tokens are elementals, so they get Vigilance and the buff. So overall, pretty gross. I think we're too far behind here. They got ahead pretty hard in ramp, and now they're just going to go to town. Interesting. No attacks. Well, here's a Doom Foretold. I'm actually going to sack. So first one's going to be a Boreal Grazer. So we do want to keep one of these back, so that way we have something to sack. I'm going to Soarin' back this uh, Orzhov Enforcer. Ooh, Genesis Ultimatum. They get to put five permanents into play. Or they, they get to look at the five top cards. Yeah, we lost this one. <clears throat> Went really hard ramping there. Sorry, I've been uh, talking for pretty much the whole day, so my voice is getting a little raspy. But from that game there, if they didn't get out to too much of a start, you could see what we could start doing there. Um, we lock out our opponent while getting these afterlife threats. You keep reanimating stuff and then bringing it back. And then uh, when they die, you'll gain life off the enchantment. This hat is much better. So here we go, Temple into Godlish, into Orzhov Enforcer, into Bastion. Ooh, into Doom Foretold. Very nice. So we'll keep the land. These castles are very good late game when you grind them out. Try to draw a bit more here. Because the way I see we are going is two, three, four. Sack this, bring back it, bring it back with this. Okay, so Simic Flash. This is probably a terrible matchup. Generally, these Doom style strategies have issues. So we could get a counter spell here, it won't be too bad. This just always having death touch will blank most of what Brineborn's doing. Okay, they sabotage there. And if we can sneak back this, uh, sneak through this Doom Foretold, it's not too bad. We've run into Blue Flash and Blue Black Flash, but this is the first Simic version of the deck that we're seeing. <clears throat> and generally against these archetypes, you just need to run through cards. Okay. No attacks here. They might have Brazen Borrower. Yeah. They can flash it in on... Oh, they have Wildborn too. So they got rid of the Preserver here. And then this forces us to sack that. <clears throat> so next turn we could go Enforcer and Woe Strider. They're down to two cards in hand. They may be inclined to counter this just because of the death touch. But then we can always get it back. Okay, so they're playing Essence Capture. Okay, they throw down Brazen Borrower. I mean, they attack in here, we sack a Scry, and then I try to drop down Malthra.
The fact we're not like we do have creatures helps this match up a bit. So we'll block and then sack this to scry. Horizontal Enforcer is great. So I think what we're going to try to do is bait them with the Orzov Enforcer and then drop Malthra. It being our Luminous brood, uh, brood Moth. I gotta switch the arts. I'm gonna keep confusing people myself. Okay, sticks. <clears throat> Bodes pretty well. They might have Night Pack Ambusher here. Yep. That's fine. And Sailor. Okay, they're all out of cards now. We have a way to get back an Enforcer. No attacks. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sack this. We get a flying token. It comes back. Just to set up our draw. Okay. Not the best. And then I'm just going to shock in here so I can draw an extra card. We got the board pretty gummed up, which is nice. They'll pop that to draw a card. And then just pass the turn. Once we can hit like Doom Foretold or Luros, then we're pretty good. The Night Pack, that was a. Uh, so. Alright, back to our turn. Let's see if they do anything here. So they have their draw engine, we have ours, ours takes damage, their board's also getting bigger. See if they pump any mana into the preserver. So we'll sack this one. We get another flyer. Ooh. I think we need something else though. Hunted Witness isn't bad. Does give us a lifelink token. So what we need to find is like a bastion. Second wolf's actually terrible. Now they get a lot more tokens faster. So they can kind of pace us. Set up our scry. Fen lurkers, not bad if forces cards out of their hand. Let's keep that. Let's see what they do here.
we need to be aggressive to draw cards. Their board's getting a lot bigger than ours. Okay, so Fenlurker here. They had the Mystic. fine if they waste the mystic there they pretty much had to want to prioritize these because they have death touch they might just go to discard or to end step so same idea Set up our draw. No land. I think what we do here is just make a token and then sack it to scry. And we're doing this because if they want to respond in any way, they don't get the tokens. really need Bastion, or we need this. See if they pump up the wolf anymore. Doom foretold's good. Um, yeah, because we can activate the draw anyways. Let's see if they have the counter here. They don't. All right, so this lets us start somewhat attacking their board. This might be Brazen Borrower. Yep. So I think we draw in response so we don't take the damage. Pretty much dead here, I think, but just trying to hold out. We have a lot of flyers, which is nice. They got in very, very well drawn game for them then drawing your exact two drop after you have six mana and you draw there okay so this is an alpha attack so let's go you here you here you here You have flying, so you go there, you go here, now we're dead anyways. They have 12 damage coming through. I'm gaining two. It's not enough. I can block there. They still take more. Yeah, they got us. GG's, GG's. If we could have got the Bastion down, this game goes a lot different, but Doom Foretold... The reason I stopped playing it in standard is with all the bounce. It has a hard time dealing with that. Um, when they can kind of mess up your sequencing. And at that point, they, we let them go unchecked with the double night pack ambusher for too many turns.
We had their big things shut down, but they just went wider than we could. Marble Skull. Sounds good. This on one, shock on two, silence into uh, luminous brood moth. Okay, teamer. Teamer by far was the most popular color pairs that we played today. There's a lot of Jess guy as well. Sweet. Sweet. So if they play out a singular threat next turn, then I'm gonna doom foretold. If they just do something like Uro. Oh, this might be um, uh, the song deck. Um, I think here we go Mothra. Or a Luminous Brood Moth. Should have attacked first. They might have Bone Crusher. Nope. Radical idea. Yeah, so this is definitely a Song of uh, Creativity deck, which if they play it out, play it. Oh, it's Wilderness Wreck. Okay. So let's get them to react first. Let's get down and doom for told. I don't know if our opponent realized you're supposed to be playing new cards. So they'll sack the Brazen Borrowers, my guess. If we draw another land, it's actually pretty solid because then I can play out both of these. If not, I'm just going to go... Yeah, it's a Song of Creativity deck. A uh, Song of Creation. So you can play an additional land. Whenever you cast a spell, you draw two cards. But then on your end step, you have to discard your hand. So they will be able to jumpstart this radical idea. Provided they, because they're going to discard their hand here. They'll get the untap, but then they won't have uh, a way to jumpstart this back. Unless they have an adventure card. Hey, Master Chief. Uh, they've been good. Some have been kind of steaming piles and others have been a bit better. Um, we played a similar, well, different kind of take on Song of Creation. We drew out our whole deck and missed Oracle Thassa by one card to win. Um, here, okay, so they're brazen borrowing this. A little unfortunate. So I'm actually going to sack my own Doom Foretold this turn. Uh, the Jeskai control deck was really good. Uh, Demir Flash was awesome. Okay, so I'm going to sack my Doom Foretold. I'm going to play out my own Doom Foretold and then play out Hunted Witness. How you been? 
So this draws him two cards, gets the chain going. They will sack the Brazen Borer. They are slowly at five life as well. So even if they deal Doom Foretold, I can just chip in some damage. Uro does help them. They have put a whole bunch of cards in the graveyard. <clears throat> I won't get to cast it this turn. Opponent's take is kind of cool. Uh, this once it was it uh, does it get exiled? Once in future was a pretty nice uh, neat trick there. So hopefully they don't have another bounce effect. If they do, again, we just sack Doom Foretold. No, they bounce it with that. And they have the shock, so. They're wheeling and dealing. Gotta push through a couple points of damage here. Probably go Woe Strider and enforcer this turn unless we draw another point okay well they're drawing a bunch of cards oh we played uh we played gruel dinosaurs which was a bunch of godzillas and i've been playing a lot of uh yudara Okay, so let's go Enforcer and Mothra here. Yeah, there's a, uh, after the stream, I put up like five or six videos. I'll have a couple more up tomorrow. Was just kind of editing in between. I think we're dead here. Feels like we're dead. Because they're going to Uro this turn. Oh, they're Thousand Year Storm. They draw more cards. Yeah, it's a cool way to get around. I think we're dead here. They're at four, but they go to seven. They have ways to kind of get around, and they've shown enough bounce and removal. Uh, let me give it a quick reset. Client's been a little up and down, the VIP client. We'll do, I don't know if I want Cruel Celebrant or the Bastion. I think we do want four Bastions though. And instead of uh, Soren, let's make that change. Where did the deck go? So let's go, let's tweak this up a bit. Um, Get rid of Soren, craft you, and then go down a Fen Lurker and go up a Bastion. All right, let's uh, fire this up, see if we do any better this time. The grind's been good, but. Odd, like we haven't got Luros, we haven't got Midnight Reaper. There's some cards that are good that we can get. Maybe Fiend Artisan could be good. Something we sack to find specific cards. It helps us find our uh, Midnight Reaper and like some of the key stuff. That's something I'm probably going to try after this. Sack my windows open and it's cold. This one is sweet. Can drop two drop would be really good this turn. Make it seem like we're white weenie.
Marauding Raptor. So, I think we go, uh, Narset was really, really good. Um, Narset was good and um, played a bit with Vivian. It was fine. And uh, we played a um, Luka Polymorph deck where we made tokens with like Castle Ardenvale and um, like a couple other cards. And then uh, we turned it into... Uh, Yadaro or Dracuseth. Whenever this creature mutates, each opponent loses life, where X is the number of times it's been mutated. Um, so I think I'm just going to drop down Bastion now. The earlier we get this going, the better. Combo time. So no attacks here. So next turn, I can go Orzhov Enforcer and Woe Strider, and then every turn... Yeah, we played Mardu Hero. Um, that one was really good. Uh, Mardu Hero Human Tribal. Okay, so what we have here now is every turn I can sack something and then recast it. Okay, they got Yadaro there. So right now on the board I have one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage in terms of sacrifice. I'm gonna start sacking these because they have flying, and then I can get me some damage through, and it also refills my hand. No you don't. No you don't opponent. You're taking some damage. And them having Mortify. So this looks like Mardu Mutate. Oh, that's a whole lot of lands on top. Uh, no, I think we want another Bastion or a Doom Foretold. Sick. And we have the land, so I can go Luros and Bastion. So I think we just go Luros this turn, and then can only cast one per turn. So let's do this this turn. So this is what I wanted to do, like this is the engine. Um, is it Yadaro, the 8-8 Trampler, this one? Um, we played that one. Snap decks. So it looks like they're gonna try to deal some damage for life. So if they target anything but Roast Rider, let's draw some cards. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the red one, right? When you cycle, it animates it. The one that was actually really cool was the two mana blue. Uh, that when you draw eight cards over the course of the turn, you can make a, an 8-8 eight -eight, uh, Kraken. Okay, so next turn I'm gonna have access to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so I can Mothra. I think we just block here. It does have double strike. Whew.
Just smack him with everything. Next turn, I can uh, Woe Strider and then call to get back uh, Hunted Witness and Orzhov Enforcer. And then I think we can just combo them out. No Doom Foretold needed this time. All right, they got a Luka. Don't think that's enough for them. All right, they got a Luminous Brood Moth. Why do you say you only cast cost three? Oh, because of Raptor, Derp. Okay, so here I get back you and you. Doesn't matter. We are gonna try to combo them. So sack you, and I have a cast off uh, Luros. Is deck sweet? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, then where are you? Sack you again. Cast you with the free one from Luros. Do the same sequence again. I think we can kill him without attacking. Doesn't matter. So we're just going to sack our board here. And then we get to draw a bunch of cards. Bond. We're doing this the fun way. Yeah, I might put it in instead of Hunted Witness, and then just go kind of full-fledged. Oh, let's get out of full control. Um, I like Bastion, it's a little harder to deal with, but Cruel Celebrant being able to recast, I think that's what we do. We gotta get rid of the Fen Lurkers here. One more sack. All right. I like this. I like this a lot. Let's uh, let's tweak this up. There's an idea here. I think I want this over Cat Oven. So if I cut these, cut these, I can go to Cat Oven. Let's try this version of the deck. I gotta cut something, so let's go down one bastion since we have a lot now. Actually, let's keep the bastions, go down a brood mother. They, they get worse in multiples. Alright. 
Black White Sack attack. I'm trying to get all the heavy wildcard decks out of the way now because tomorrow's going to be. Uh, it's not going to be as fun when you have to pay for your own cards. Keep this hand. Um, let's do it like this. Um, it's usually around, like they do an update early morning, like 10 or 11 Eastern. So we're playing against Umari. So all the cards in the deck need to share a type and it reduces spells cost, cast this way. Okay, we are rewarded. So we do need some sort of engine. Um, I think it's like around 10, 30, 11, if I recall correctly. Okay, so it's Salti Creatures. We could potentially deal three damage every time one of our creatures dies. We got the Great Shark playing Fat Pack. Oh, this might be like Yarrick. Reduce the cost of Yarrick and then get all the ETBs. Cauldron Familiar would be so good right now. Okay, looks like they're missing mana. Perfect. So this will draw some cards. I just need a cauldron familiar. I may sack this celebrant just to draw a card depending what we, the opponent does. If I can find a Cauldron Familiar, we are going to town. Okay, so it's a Thassa Blink deck. Salt Eye Blink, so it's definitely a Yark deck, I feel. I can just go another celebrant here. Ah, almost, almost not fully. If we waited one more turn, if we were patient. So I do have a block here. Oh, I should have attacked. I had a free attack with Midnight Reaper. All right, Mari comes down. Reducing the cost of spells, so they effectively have one, two, three, four mana available. So they can tap something down. Actually, no, they can't. This just reduces cost. Okay, they got Mothra. Oh, this is four color. What do you bounce? Probably just the goose. Get another token. So we drain them twice. And then we get that. Another cat. Uh, I don't think they'd have a board wipe, but I think I still like Woe Strider better. It could potentially let us. Actually, can we win this turn? So they're at 11. So I sack a cat. 
I think we just win. Uh, my line's fine. This comes in, drains. Sacks the cat. Good call, Master Chief. The uh, the celebrants in, in unison is really sweet. Now we just win. Sick. Okay, this this is the version. We got aristocrats. Punish them. And even this deck, you can play board wipes in the side because even if you kill your board, it comes back with uh, Luminous uh, Broodmoth and you get a bunch of tokens anyways and you can kind of just combo kill through that. Really sweet deck. I really like this version. All right, so I'm going to wrap this one up. Um, I'm going to get this uploading onto YouTube. I'm going to take my dog for a walk and then I'll come back and we'll play a couple more uh, deck lists. I uh, need to get out and walk around a bit. And we'll go from there. Uh, probably play White Devotion, updated version of that next, and maybe get to some of these. Uh, don't catch you later. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, everything we've been playing is up on YouTube, so we'll catch you there. Uh, hopefully see you in a bit. Otherwise, have a great night or day, and stay safe.